All right, guys. <clears throat> well, we've got a few things in. Uh, first, hold on. We got our armored wrench in finally. Um, let me. T uh, Palmetto State Armory uh, wrench is actually uh, pretty beefy. You know, nice look at it. So, so we got the pistol together. Now, we'll get back to that in a second. Uh, I also ordered a um, the case conditioning kit from uh, Amazon. It's ten bucks, but like five something for shipping, which was kind of ridiculous. And they put in this giant box for this little envelope. It's just ridiculous. But uh, being that it would cost me ten, eleven dollars to go to my gun shop and get it, and it would cost me. Ten dollars, probably in gas. At least eight, <laughs> eight or nine. It was worth it. So, ordered these on Monday. They got here this mo uh, Thursday morning. Uh, you probably won't be seeing this video till Friday morning. And then um, went to my favorite bullet site, RMR Bullets, Rocky Mountain Reloading. Ordered some um, two hundred fifty. Uh, um, 250, 55 grain full metal jackets you know fun rounds um, as usual you cannot beat their price uh, it was $29 for 250, 55 grain um, shipped to my door that was including shipping $29, $29 flat bam can't beat that so we got those in uh, now, the pistols together. Um, it's all nice and put together, but I'm having a cycle issue. It's sort of, so, uh, I guess it's called short stroking. Um, now, if I put regular 223 ammo, I haven't gone through all my 223s. Uh, see if I might have some higher pressure or whatever. It'll it'll kick the round out. But it won't load the next. Now, I can't see it being a buffer problem or anything like that. Um, you know, funny thing to know is a, a pistol buffer tube is actually longer than your uh, six position carbine buffer tube. But anyway, um, but if I put 556 five, in, it cycles flawlessly. So I'm having some kind of gas issue. Um, that I don't know. I. I I adjust, I moved the block a little bit. I mean, I was pretty sure I had it on uh, in the right position in the first place, and that just made the problem. It it wouldn't even kick the round out. So I moved the block back where I had it. Uh, I actually tried three or four different positions. So I don't I don't think it's the block position now where the tube meets the uh, the gas block. There's a little bit of carbon fouling around the tube, like gas is escaping. I don't really know what to think of that. Read on some forums where they just talk about that that the um, the, the the gas will kind of seal itself, which um, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I, my real only experience with ARs besides shooting a few here and there was was Bridget, and I bought her brand new, and she worked flawlessly out the box. I've never ever had a problem with her cycling. Um, so, I don't know, I'm going to try and figure that out, uh, if any of you guys got any, uh, advice, I know some of you guys have built more guns than I have, this being my first build, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate any, uh, advice, uh, even the, uh, hell, even, uh, Travis, DJ Alkaline 1, who's now built, like, six, I think, ARs, is at a loss, um, my next step is to either get another, um, well, I don't see where my gas block would really be a problem. Is either to check, uh, I mean, now the hole in the barrel looked like the same size hole I've seen in any barrel. And, uh, is, is maybe get, see about another tube, but the tube is a dangled fence, which is, you know, usually good quality stuff, but don't know. It's an issue we'll, fi uh, we'll, we'll get straightened out when I do. Put some shooting footage, uh, uh, shooting footage up of this 
And let me tell you, she is loud. I had hearing protection on and almost went deaf. This bad boy is loud. But uh, fun though. Kind of like the smaller, smaller platform. That's that's kind of nice. Well, uh, be great for when the zombie hordes come. You know, up close. Start around mag, or maybe I'll pick up a couple of 150 uh, fun mags next year. Who knows? Um, so that's where we stand on this build. Everything seems to be working fine. We're just having some kind of gas issue that I just got to fix. Figure out what's wrong with that. Because I don't really want to shoot 5.56 all the time. That's kind of pricey. <laughs> but, okay, there's an update on that. Like I said, if you want to load, bam. They even carry 6.8. They were just out this week. Well, of course, just before I made this video, I checked my email and had some 6.8 in. But I'm a little short on cash until next payday. So, hopefully they'll, um, they'll have some more. Uh, well, I'm sure they will eventually. I just got to catch them at the right time. But that's fine. You know, we're still a ways off on that build. We still got to get other parts and blah, blah, blah. For to really worry about ammo too much. Plus, um, I really only need the chan uh, the, the chan uh, camper on this. But since I'm going to do 6.8, I figured I might as well have that for another, for sizing the 6.8. Um, I got one for 2.2.3, and I know you can change it out, but... Uh, I'd rather just have one for each one. That way I ain't got to go changing out, blah, 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 you know. So, there we go, guys. There's that and that. I got to work this Sunday again, so we won't be able to get the Hornet Fixer out here. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I have some other videos that I've just got to get the editing done. There's, they're just some editing intensive videos you know uh one some black op footage another one is the uh, one of the my anime videos that i was talking about a couple videos back i just haven't had the time to get it finished and edited oh you can even see my hand in the top rail check that out god i love shining don't you and yes i have degree obsession and uh someone put the comment yeah i have shined the bullets I, I actually have some silver bullets that I've polished the bullet. And I don't mean like shiny silver looking. I mean they're actual 44 silver bullets. Don't ask. Anyway, guys, I've rattled on long enough. There you go. Um, give y'all a little look. She is the badass. Got my camera and the fingerprints I've got on there. Yes, she is a fingerprint magnet. So, uh, once we get our gas uh, issue fixed, I'm quite pleased with this one. So, anyway, we're now at the eight and a half mark. Later. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs>